which of course brings us to Presby Max. Now, this classification shows that there are actually three iterations of Presby Max when there is actually only one. It is just confusing the user. It is all, if you look at what the laser is doing to the near eye, it's exactly the same for all three iterations. It is what you're doing to the dominant eye that is slightly different, but actually it's the same. It's a matter of titrating the induction of negative spherical aberration into the dominant eye. Now, of these three, my favorite by far is Presbyvax monocular, where we set for emetropia, the distant eye, and for the near eye, we introduce minus 0.89 diopters of sphere, which is not enough for near vision. So we induce negative spherical aberration, which depending upon the prescription add of the eye and the amount of spherical equivalent of the patient. So you don't get to decide it, the eye does. And using bilateral LASIK, we published this in the Journal of Cataract and Refractive Surgery in early 2023. You can read that. Yes. How about J1 plus? It's Is it clear? Yeah. Oh my god. I can read that. This is terrific. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So actually your binocular vision is 2016 with J1 plus near vision.